Nigeria, and they will immediately be distri distributing food and the um, blankets. 500 bags of rice. of rice to assist the IDP. Okay, that's all we can take on front page review and return. Move on to the next segment. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view. Ladies and gentlemen, make welcome Pioneer Positive Force member, dancing queen of the 80s, non conformist, Afrobeat historian in her right, and long standing member of the multiple award winning all female show, Your View, Omo Yeni, Yeni, and Ifula Kuti, aka YK Power. Ginger. Yeah, take it, take it, take it. Yeah, yeah. Today, Ginger, yeah. Ginger, today Ginger, we'll go here. Yeah. Hey, hmm. I don't read you. Are you sure? Ha. Hmm. I know, I'm not here to answer questions, I'm here to drink. <laughs> We're in trouble today. <laughs> ah. Wait, wait till your age. I was close now. Eh? I said 1975. He said 73. He said, I said 75. 75. I couldn't. Fellas, I wasn't even born till 75. Damn. So, will I drink out? Eh? You go drink out. Take, take, take. Make a, make a help you. Russian, Russian, Russian. No, be half. Eh? Which half? <laughs> you will make me drink. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. <laughs> Lights in in all. Nepa Nepa Road. <laughs> Nepa Road. Nepa Road. In a Ah <laughs> uh -uh. First of all, my brain cannot uh, memorize everything. A big black bug. A big black dog. Bug. A big black bug. Oh, sorry. A bleak. <laughs> it all starts. Omo ah, hey, Omo Omo fella, Omo Omo Anikola Kpokuti. Oro pe kini kekele. It's my audition song. It's not my audition song. Come closer. A little bit more. Perfect. I have exciting news for you. You asked for it and you got it. Your favorite breakfast show, Your View, will be going to two hours. We're going to have in-depth analysis of the newspaper review and more conversations on the hot topics. The ladies of Your View and I will be staring up our guests to get in-depth into all the various topics and you, our viewers, will have the opportunity to call in and share your views. After all, it's your view. Join us on Your View, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. for a fantastic conversation. Don't miss it. Ladies and gentlemen, please help welcome to the show, La General, the one and only Pere Egui. Which of the following is false about teeth? 
Read, read we are again. born with 20 primary teeth. Hmm. Teeth are the hardest substance in the body. Teeth are the strongest bones in the body. Teeth is not a bone, actually. Teeth, uh, teeth uh, can self-repair. The strongest bone in the body. No, teeth is not a bone. Final answer. Teeth is not a bone. You know what came to my head now? That sound. Me, 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 me. Crickets. <laughs> so, editor, you can put that cricket sound there. It's very just. It's, you can still put it down too. When was the first Gould Ultimate Search? Editor, don't put any cricket sound. I'm talking. I'm talking. Okay, pair. How many times has Ghana qualified for the World Cup? <laughs> Five times. Hey, you can't do that now. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Why are you like this? Uh, yeah. This is your team. Small, small play they, now. They, they, they will not Somebody be. Somebody cannot play with you again. They will not be impressed too. The team that you're supporting and Ghana, Ghana will with. be all right. Yeah, that's last. Charlie, <laughs> cheers, Charlie. <laughs>
Reason is because in this life we must be clear what has value. We must be clear what has value per time. And women, let's not be ashamed to admit that sometimes we are not the nurturers that we claim to be. Some women are better That's workers. Right. Some are not nurturers. They, they, their strength is in that job, not in raising kids. And if your husband is a better father and a nurturer by mistake because you know the gender is not <laughs> all that way around, admit it. Tell him this is your strength. I need you. I'm flying on your wings to, be, to, be, to, to come out tops as a mother. It is on you I'm depending to show up. Because women will now come and say, we are not just... And you know that if they put everything on the table, you cannot continue to be that, that, in that position yeah. for your kids. You should, in this story, she admitted that he, he does everything for the children. He earns more. He's closer to work. Ah, which one you value more? He didn't say stop working. He said change your job. Yeah. So we must... Ah, when you see other women making these compromises and using mind to work, mm -hmm. the one that paid me the most that she wrote there that I was sex -tapped. Are you a wife? If you are a wife, it's true. Let me say it point blank because this is my own reality. My husband and myself left the house this morning. We left a little boy sleeping, waiting for a school bus. Mm. That's the reality. But I know where to play my game. As I'm living here now, I'm showing up at my son's school for open day. As I'm living here sometimes, I'm going all the way to the other one's school. I went for the last open day. I'm making, it, making a balance at it, running this crazy shit, but I know what is most important. Right. What I will not sacrifice in this world is that my husband, those children. There's no, if somebody give you half advice, you put the remaining one. Okay, just like you rightly said, not, not every perfect. woman is like that. Some mm -hmm. women are career driven where well, they, don't they believe in their public. ambition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some, some women, because many of us believe that listen, we are better managers. Women are better managers of companies, but better administrators. We yeah. can actually, because There's many no companies mm -hmm. usually thrive when they are, when they are top executives are women. Yeah. So because of that, you're, you feel like you have a you have a bigger ambition to, to help more lives. That's like, yeah, your family is nuclear, which you have support system. But as the head of this huge corporation, lots of jobs are dependent on your, on your leadership. Lots of families are dependent on you. So there's, there's this huge ambition. You can't give up your job because of um, my, my a marriage. You know, the way we give advice without getting the entire picture. Mm -hmm. like a lot of people take advice without painting the entire picture of what you have done. So when you go and meet a pastor or meet your parents and tell them that my husband has given me ultimate that I should leave my job, mm. what would they tell you? They'll say, eh, don't leave your job for any man. Don't if anything sure. happens to you, if anything happens to him, how would you survive? Don't leave yeah. your job for any man. But they are not giving them the entire picture of what you are doing with that job and what that job is costing you. Thank you. And that is why it is important that while you take advice, like Nima said, add your own. Because you have to take stock of your decision and its impact. Because now you're taking stock of it after you have made a choice to your husband, who you know is a good man, who you know is providing, who you know is making sacrifice, and you tell him, I cannot leave my job because I am what? I'm so proud of my feeling or what? And now it's costing you my age. I live in regret. That's huge. See, get that overnight. I that, have that's made job that comes to When it comes to marriage, Marriages don't work without sacrifice, compromise. You must be willing to make it. Yes. And it happens on both sides. We as women tend to talk about the sacrifices we make in marriage, but we don't listen to the sacrifices men make in marriage. Thank they you. also make sacrifices. Thank you. They also make sacrifices. I made a sacrifice when I said I, when I had my, my, my seven-year-old and I said I was not doing makeup here. Mariah made a sacrifice when she had her last born. That she, you know, that we, we, over, we grant this thing like, if I make a sacrifice, if I make a sacrifice now, I might lose all. No. Many women have made sacrifices concerning they their jobs up. and they came back yes. because your heart is in the right place. You can yes. leave it, your job for eight years, come back. And Tiani has spoken about how many years she had she to left. stay yes. with, her, with her daughter. She is back doing everything. But let me ask so, that sacrifice must question happen. question everybody asks, can't we have it all? Hmm. I mean, we, have, we will ask this question Before. all the time. That can we, because if someone will tell you that if you are able to get a proper support system here and there, <laughs> if you're able to put things together, you can have it all where... You can have a success. So she wanted all, but nothing for her husband. Mm -hmm. She doesn't want to give anything to her husband. There was, there is no, uh, there is no. She, 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 oh, she Why is husband so terms. important? Why because, like, you see, <laughs> a, a lot of the things I, I don't well, even. I'm not really concerned about the husband right now. Yeah. What about her kids? Mm -hmm. What about her kids who are growing up without a mother? Mm -hmm. They only have a father figure. They don't have anything coming from the mother, mm -hmm. because when we you decide that, oh, I want to be the all career woman. Don't have children. You don't have to. You can have a husband and not have children now. I mean, what people do it all the time. Must you have a child because you are married? 
Is, did you marry because of children or did you marry because you want to be with somebody? So if you wanted to be with a man, the two of you would just be doing lovey-dovey, lovey-dovey, no children. So because, because once you have decided to have children, those children mm -hmm. are your responsibility. Mm -hmm. You owe it to those children because right. you have decided to bring them to this But well, somebody will say, why is it usually women that make the sacrifices all the time? You know, like, so he, according to her, he's doing well and he's doing very well and he leaves his office, is obviously near the house, so he can ac have access to the kids. But she has, she's the head HR of a bank. That, that doesn't, it doesn't happen overnight. So why is it her? That needs to sacrifice that glorified <laughs> role because it is a huge is she the first opportunity. HR? Let's talk, talk now. Is she the first head of HR? Other women have done this thing and they have balanced it. She could have done this thing and balanced it. She's the one that scattered it. It's rich at all. Scatter. You can be at the height of your career and you know how your escapes. When I was getting married, my auntie was advising me, saying, Nima, you can do lunch and meet your husband. You know you have deficited something in the night. You can do lunch. You can have a break in between work. And I do that thing. It works. Ah, I could much leave here sometime. If I, hey. why, why can't you well, well, do me inside taxi one evening? <laughs> I was you ready. To the they gave me dinner, <laughs> gave me lunch, and sent me with other ways and brush to my <laughs> husband in the VA. Sometimes you make this, you do this it's thing. You, you, when you, you show up, the person feels valued. You can't yeah. put a person in a relationship that is, so you're supposed to be compromising certain things for and say, ah, because I'm HR. Is the madam inside the house? Because... If you are, it's either you are ready for marriage or you are not. And don't let anybody brag at those, you, your face with all this uh, big, big English of head of HR. Women have done well, amazingly well in their official capacities and amazingly well in their homes. Such that the husband, if he knows that the woman cannot also pull all that strength with children and he has the uh, way, he will do that for her. This man you said takes care of the kids. Just show up one day with flowers and roses, dress up the house. Me, I will call my younger sister when they are visiting. Are you going to stay the weekend? Okay, if you are staying this weekend, my husband is working. I will sleep over. And that person knows to take care of my kids and everything. And I will not show up to my kids except on the phone. Because Ogatu has his needs. Then we will come back and I will say, you mean, I just need my job. I want to keep my job. You know, it's fulfilling me and everything. So, okay, go on. That's how you get away with it. Not that you just abandon. She clearly said, and she didn't tell the pastor and her mom this fact. I don't think that they would have advised her the way they did. Why do you want to even yeah, take advice? I, have, I don't know. Are they, these pastors, are they, are, are they counselors? Did they go to... They started oh, going. They tell, are now counselors. Because back in the day that they are not she counselors. Didn't, oh, she didn't tell them. No, they they, 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 they were taking courses. I'm you till 4 p.m. Advise you not to leave your... When she we come back from the break, okay, I will, okay, I will, okay. I will so address we'll, that part. We'll come back. When we come back, we'll discuss. Stay with us and buy back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Bank Safe and Green Pally promo season 3 is here. This season is bigger. One person will go home with the brand new GAC SUV. That is 89 million Naira up for grabs. To become a winner, simply save 10,000 Naira or more in your Union Bank account and perform at least 5 transactions monthly to qualify. To open an account, visit unionbankng.com, download the Union Mobile app or walk into any branch near you. Terms and conditions Vida Waika, I'm your big fan too. Thank you so ah. much, I appreciate it, brother. And I'm chilling with my main guy, Vida. Alpha, ah. net no problem. Yes, well, Gabby. Let me turn on my hotspot. Ah, it's off. It's off. Got it. See, when you're on 9 Confirm from 9 Mobile, you get a super gift of 1,000 Naira just for joining the network. 900% bonus on every recharge. 100% data bonus for six months and double data bonus on your first recharge of the month get a new sim or dial star 1 for 100 hash now nine mobile every healthy family needs the right amount of energy to start their day but sourcing for breakfast with a splendid blend of nutritious multigrains big wahala with the new kellogg's gold grain cereal you don't have to go through all of that so now your mornings can look like this Go, 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 grains. Love the goodness of its multi grains. Grain sets go! Also available in banana flavor. Breakfast time is
Thanks for staying with us. We're still discussing this latest matter, and there's so many angles to this. Before the break, we're talking about uh, the, the, the fact that woman is in church till 4 p.m. And I was saying, you know, I, I remember this story. When I, I stopped going to, um, staying to church that late, and somebody asked me, ah, why we don't see you for meetings? I said, listen, one day I got a light bulb when I realized that everybody that, I, that attends those meetings in churches for a long time, many of them that kids are abroad or they are still in university, they are young. Nobody was in my own category where we have little kids at home. We were new, fairly new marriage, you know, five-year marriage kind of. So I needed to stay home with my kids. But this is all these mummies here. All these mummies, they are, they, all their kids are in Canada and they, they, don't, they don't have anybody going to come and take care of in the house. So I cannot be comparing myself to them because they don't have anybody Seasons. needing to be picked. They don't, they, don't, they don't do any school runs. That's wisdom. The other ones are in university. Then. So I, am, I just realized I was a minority in this group. I <laughs> care, care. Yeah, had it. Second wife, no I cannot. Not that, was, we did not go that was there. I'm talking about years ago. <laughs> I, I, I have to carry my you. legs. <laughs> Ah, said, you know okay. what, I will not because I will do, I will leave. Because in life, there are phases. When I was single, I will be in church too forever. Because that, 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 was, a, that, was, a, that was my growing years. Yes, mm -hmm. You are there, you're serving. But once you get married, you have to adjust. You still go to church, but you have to know exactly how, when. And then once your kids are a bit more mature, you know that, okay, now I have more time. That, that, that's what I did. But let me come to you. What are your thoughts on this fact that many of us also, our uh, weekends that we're supposed to spend with family, we're doing that at Owambe. Or Sunday, we're in church all, for, for all, all throughout the the, the church service. So I actually went through that journey too. Exactly what you said. I, when I got married, before I got married, I was doing three services. Then we had four services in my church. I was doing three services, one service for meeting and then the two, two services just to enjoy the service. And then that same day we have house fellowship and I was a section leader. I had to send messages. There was a whole lot of work. But when I got married, I knew that it was important. There are times and seasons. A woman can, a woman can have it all. Mm -hmm. a, a person can have it all if they understand the seasons for different mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. There is a season in your life where all your life, all the things you're thinking about is, I have these babies. Mm -hmm. these, are de these children are dependent permanently on me. And the season will come where the children will be like, Mommy, don't worry. Daddy, don't worry. I'm good. I got it. Then you have more times for other things. There will be a season in your life where all your mind is work because I need to scale my finances. If, if you can have it all if you prioritize right. Yes. We are trying to have it all without understanding the priorities. So there will be times when you so have to Is the husband nights. there for being selfish? No understanding she's in a season of her career. Mm. Maybe she's in that season where it's time for me to grow my career. I have reached the peak. So he shouldn't be selfish whether I need you to be here, I need you to have uh, do better activities. Because sometimes it's mm -hmm. selfishness mm -hmm. on the part of the husband. Mm -hmm. um, it's compromise. It's not selfishness. If, um, if a man is demanding equal participation, just like a woman demanding equal participation in parenting, in marriage, it's not selfishness. It's about having a conversation and taking, taking stock of what is going on part time. Because sometimes we're not. You are thinking you are involved, but you are not involved. You are, you are, you are not... That, that child marriage. that you are talking about, mm. that child will grow. That child will grow. And, you, and it will go. <laughs> you will have career. Child gone. will look at, ah, this one was not a mother to me. Let me go and find yes. my mother in front. <laughs> because you were not there. Mm -hmm. So I, I think we should always think about um, mm. the... The formative years of yeah. our children. Very, mm. very important. Let me take um, Reverend, I'll come back to you. Okay. Reverend Dominic, thanks for calling your live. Hey, Good Reverend morning. Dominic. Good morning. Good morning. After how many years? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Good morning. Sir. Good morning. You abandoned us for that uh, station. <laughs> uh, no, I didn't abandon you. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, when I came to your program, once you were in the time you were in, and uh, you were still at school, and... Uh, let me say this, in your contribution about family, I love Nima's contribution. Do you know why I love Nima's contribution? You must put priority for everything. Is it your family or your career? My friend, you need to ask a question now. These pastors and these counselors. The best counselor on earth is a pastor. I've been 32 years in Pupi. I've gone to school, but there's no counselor. A professional counselor will cancel a woman or a man. Who can defend this office to take his money? But the pastor must hear from the man and from the woman. Most of the time, he brings them into the office. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. But the pastor will bring this to put into his office and hear from them. But from shy so called counselor, we just say what we want to say for his time and take his money. The best catalog is the, the pastor, the good pastor in court. But what I'm trying to say here, the issue in this matter is priority. Are you prioritizing your family yeah. or your job? If you prioritize your family, 
You cannot speak like Neymar. But this has been a pastor for many years. I've got a woman in my office who is a big lawyer, big lawyer, but she doesn't think about family. So I asked her, Madam, which one for you, the family or your legal uh, profession? He said, my legal profession. I think you have to choose one. Life right. cannot give you everything. All of you know what I mean. Yeah. You must choose one. Right. And in Africa, this is to be the In Africa, family, family, family. Thank you very much, Reverend Dominic. You know, I, 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 I keep thinking, why is in 21st century, 2023, why is marriage still a prize that every woman feels like I must have? Because we've seen where uh, some people have said, I left my marriage. I saw even an actress who will tell you, recently we had a guest who said, I sacrificed my marriage. I left my family because of my career. It was a choice I make. Fast forward, I thought it was something I regretted, which is what someone is going through right now. When I fast forward, to my life where I actually went for my career. My kids are proud of me. They, 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 they've not appreciated the kind of woman I have become. That, oh, my mom is on screen. My mom is this powerful person. The same way, if this woman, if, if this woman doesn't take marriage like we are taking marriage, where she said, I'm taking my career. I'm going to focus on the career. The kids are growing up with their father. And they say, my mom is the number one HR person in the whole of Africa. She's, been, she's, she's here shaking presidents. She's doing, you know, she has, she's some, some, now somebody we are so proud of. So my question, therefore, is, is it that we are still thinking <laughs> that marriage Written is such marriage. an important um, uh, aspect, or we are over we are overrating marriage in twenty first century? Maybe we don't well, both have to be there. season, there's no way. Even our guests admitted to being available at the nurturing, nurturing age of our kids. Yep. There's an age where you can now take that risk. Most of the people who went back to school, went back to school when their kids were in secondary school, finishing secondary school. Some people yeah. went to university with their daughters, you know, going back to the dreams that they had as young mothers. But the moment you are a mother, and you have, I always say in my own, I don't worry about adults, I worry about dependents, an aged parent, or a child who cannot see left from right except through their parents. I cannot leave that child. I cannot have a job, a career, anything that is bigger than a child of that age. Well, when you get to a certain age, you can take that risk. Because if you don't take the advice of our guest on Friday and say, no, you, mm, those kids were mature enough at the time when she had to leave them. And so they could see the steps. You don't leave a child who's looking every day, Mom, mommy, mommy, mommy. I have a child who doesn't sleep until mommy comes in. <laughs> so how do you, how do you, um, you know, raise that child? If you have an amazing father, and you can admit it in a message to your, counsel, uh, your counselor or uh, doctor later, you know an amazing father. Mm. I know someone who left her, her career after the old Iwala, and she's at home. She's still not a perfect mother. Mm. She does not know school time. The child can be outside naked. She does not care. You know, I'm sorry. I was on the phone. She doesn't know. So we must come out if we have these weaknesses and admit it. I told my husband, I use brain. I don't necessarily use muscle. So you cannot have me around and say, ah, Nima will do 24 hours cleaning of the house. The house should be perfect. It cannot be me. But when we outsourced it, everything has been perfect. But you see me, I know when to sacrifice what to do. Recently, we were even having a small argument. And my husband was like, ah, when was the last time you made food? I said, ah, it's been a while. You know that I was sick for a while. And I forgot how to make food. <laughs> Immediately, I make food that night. I said, my husband, everything rests. It's not time to argue. Do you want to kill me? Do you know where I've been, where I'm coming from? Okay, go, la, la. Let me, I'll come back to you. Yeah, let, me, let me take Shola. Shola, thanks for calling your live. Yeah, thank you, Morayo. Good morning to you Good morning. all. Good morning. Good morning. Let me start uh, by saying the only area which Christianity has put some Christian in bondage is the area of marriage. That is my opinion because as a minister, I know what I'm facing. She understands. So now, According to the way you presented the, the matter, Morayo, yes. you say some people have passion for their career, some have passion for their family. You see, as a woman, if what you have passion for is your career, so it's better you don't marry. Don't marry or you go and marry a husband that will take the responsibility of your wife at home. So you will, you will stand like the husband while the husband stands like the wife. She understand. Mm -hmm. Then number two, is the area of what we call service. Sometimes what we call service in the church is not service. It's show off. Yeah. It's show off. It's not service. Because your church 
church begins at your home, in your family. That yep. is where the church started from. Yep. That is the truth. So you have to, you can't eat your cake and have it. You want to be in your work, you want to be in the church, yep. huh? and you let your uh, you let your husband at home doing everything. So if you know you no, can so you, 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 you fashion your career more than every other thing, then don't get married or why it's better you go and marry a husband. That the, the husband will, will, will take the responsibility of your wife you. at home. You will always be at home. Thank you very much, Shala. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll come that? to you talk. Well, let, let me paint this scenario for you. Right, for, you want to respond to this? Yeah, no, no. Well, you know, you, Nima said something, and um, in response to what you said earlier, mm -hmm. like, may we not stay too late before we realize what is important? Mm -hmm. Because many people, in the heat of the moment, what is trending, we don't know what is really important to us, and then we make sacrifices that we did not know would hurt us. She was writing this message in regret hmm. that she would have left the job hmm. and face her marriage. It's not because she prioritizes marriage. She probably is missing the companionship and missing having that support she had with her husband. Mm -hmm. But she did not value it enough to leave her job at the time when it was necessary to mm -hmm. make the sacrifice. That is why we say, okay. And when it comes to church, I have had, um, I lead a team in my church. And I have had to have meetings with people because I knew that the, the sacrifice they were making in church was costing them their relationship with God. Mm. People serving in church so much that they have lost God. God. Mm. And I told them, take a break. You are angry. You are reporting one person within the church. You are working together. You are all volunteers. You are having these issues back to back. It was, it's spilling to other areas. Take a break. God understands you. You are serving God. It's not the church you are serving God. Who. It's not the presence, your presence in church that is making you serve God. It is the relationship you have with every other person. So if you are such a good woman in such strong service to God and your own husband, primary assignment on earth is saying that you are, I am sex stabbed and you think it is by being in church. You will not go to church on Sunday. You will sit down with the man and give it to him breakfast, lunch and service dinner. Him. That is service to God. Because yes. you are taking away temptation from that man. Yes. It is your primary assignment. If you need to give it to him breakfast, lunch, and dinner on a Sunday, the only Sunday that you have, you now say you want to go and stay in church till evening. Then you are not prioritizing what God wants you to prioritize. Okay, now, so let, let, me, let, me, let me put in this, this scenario. Because many of us grew up knowing situations where a man is working so hard, prioritizing his career mm. over his family. A lot mm -hmm. of modern men don't do that anymore. They are, they are, they are participating. They are we grew up seeing a lot of fathers, they're hardly home. The women stayed to nurture and raise these kids. 20 years down the line, after the man has become the MD, the head HR, the book boy, he now comes and he's giving out the wife and daughter in marriage. He's now becoming the dad, you know, you know. So nobody blames him for focusing exclusively on his career and abandoning his family. Some children, some families, some men are in a bunny camp. Some men are living and working in Abuja, Abuja. Some men today, their children and family are in Canada. They're in Nigeria here because they're absentee father, because they are focusing on their career. They have a big job in ExxonMobil. They're in Nigeria. The women are being faced with having to raise the kids. We don't raise an eyebrow when the man is there focusing. But the moment the reverse is happening, where the man has to stay. So in this situation, this man has to stay with this children because this girl has a huge career. Let her, it might take her 10 years, 20 years in this career journey. Eventually, right. she's coming home to still be with the family. Why do we, therefore, begin you know, to raise her eyebrow when, it's, when the roles are reversed? Let me help you break it down. You know the man's role in having a child is that of enjoyment. You know, it's not, it's, it's not uh, factual now. Some men want to procreate too now. Uh, no, no, but they cannot do more than have enjoyment. Even the part of enjoyment. Uh -huh. It's enjoyment. It's, enjoyment. it's, enjoyment. it's, enjoyment. it's, it's the woman that goes through the pain. You will carry the belly. It's pain. Now you will carry it nine months. When you want to bond. Deliver. It's pain. So the I get you. you have delivered finish. You now say, okay, man, that your own part was to enjoy. Come and look after what I've delivered. And you know my still work. My lifetime work. Let me face no. another man's job. Yes. HR in... Can you yes, call, can you come back? That's my choice. I'm an adult. I've so chosen whatever that. Whatever you choose, you don't choose regret it. What was that same thing you said? Oh, don't let uh, 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 our decision, don't regret your decision. Yeah. Don't stick it. That's what that she has. The husband has later. She shouldn't regret it. She should just say, mm hmm. Just carry your one hand. Okay, let me, let me take this call for Adi. I'll come to you. Adi, thanks for calling from the UK. You're live. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Uh, I stand, I stand by Alaja, uh -huh. what Alaja said, but Alaja didn't complete that uh, statement. Uh, what should, since the woman 
love our job. That, there's nothing bad in that. Our agreement. Let Uma employ somebody, a very good looking, prepared lady, to be house head. You have been to do the other room. So that uh, whenever the woman is not here, the lady at uh, the house head can help the man ha. to solve the problem. So when I'm not here, you can have two or three at home. You know, we're going here. This is the lady God. now. How important it is. So if the woman can bring somebody into her, then she can keep her job. Everything will be going smoothly. That's, that's my own suggestion. I believe so that either woman or the other one at home now go get the left. Then that's that, so be it. Thank I you, Mr. Ade. So I wanted to answer you when you said when a man is focused on his own career. Yeah. It's different from when a man's focus is on provision. If his target is, I want to grow career-wise so that my kids do well, my wife do well, I have the means to give them the life. That's two different things. It's still for his family. Still for his family. This woman said, my husband is a higher earner. Definitely, he's providing. He's also nurturing. Uh -uh. You have found the perfect package. You don't know what to compromise. It's rare to find a man who is provider at the same time willing to support your career and nurture. Small, small sacrifices. You know, she just had the perfect. If I had such a perfect <laughs> story, for instance, uh -uh, me, I know how to need that when I've goofed. To. <laughs> I know how to beg my husband when I have messed up. I will come down and come down to my most. I say that the is pastor, that cannot fear. The first one that told her that she should not leave her husband is like uh, Mr. Collar said. Is the tight is thinking about when you leave that work. How will I? Because you are paying good money. If she do online church, church, she can still pay tight. She did not tell the pastor the truth. If she does online church, she will still pay tight. It's not about tight. She did not tell him everything. If she if, leave the work in him also. Let me just stay with Reverend Dominic. Maybe he didn't counsel both of them before he advised. That's, yes. that's, in that part, he would have been wrong. Be but if she had told anybody this thing that me, I just... Because when the story dropped... Not only pastor, her mother too. Her mother too. I, so it's not I was already arguing with that. Why will he put her in such a position? But look, looking back at the story, may, she, may we not be in regret? That's it. You know? You know? It's not only at the top. This IHR job you have, you have, you have. You will have it later, you will know our family to share it with. Is that the life? I, I would like to link this story to Pastor um, King Zekongo, who said that some women place their marriages above God. And he was saying that um, um, he, was, he revealed that women, some women's utmost priority is marriage to the extent that it places even above God and their well being. Um, he emphasized that personal fulfillment in marriage can only come when the woman first discovers the light in her single life. Um, I'm not sure how we can link this, but. Sometimes a lot of women, you see, when we hear messages like this, when you place your marriage above God, that's why a woman can stay in church till 4 p.m. Because she wants to prove that God mm. is the most important. Mm. I'm telling you. God is not church. So we, I'm, that's just saying, the I'm saying the mentality we have. Mm. Because when we hear our pastors tell us this, that mm. you, have, you cannot place your, your marriage, marriage above be, God, mm. number one. You feel that, okay, even after I, I, I'm, I'm running late from work, because I, I'm, going to, I'm supposed to go home, but midweek service, I must go to church. Mm. You go there, and instead you branch midweek service, and you're there for like two hours. Mm. Same thing, vigil on Friday, you attend because you don't want to prioritize marriage over God. So vigil that is supposed to stay home that Friday night, that you're supposed to be with family, you, are, you show up for vigil. Saturday morning, there's prayer meeting somewhere, you go there because you don't want to prioritize marriage over God. Then Sunday again, you will watch the children to take the children home. You have to stay up because there are several meetings. You have to go for evangelism. You have to go for... So, when you hear these kind of messages, you mm, yeah, okay, may career-centered, would also have to say, I don't want to prioritize my marriage over God. We need our pastors uh, to, to, to so define things I, better. I, what I don't understand is you have already prioritized your marriage, your work over your marriage. No, mm -hmm. Then church. you now prioritize church again over your marriage. Then you don't need the marriage. Don't need the marriage. Thank you. The two that are important to That's, That was why I think I said... So me, me, the church is the problem. So mm. by keeping your commitment to satisfy your family, you are not satisfying God. Mm -hmm. Also, why not just limit church time to two hours on Sunday and come back to spend quality time with husband? Yes, if it's not too late, go and beg your husband. Otherwise, you will not be happy for life. I agree with begging mm -hmm. your husband. I also agree with the fact that we have misplaced our priorities. We are doing, we are doing service to man. We want to be seen to serve God, which is like what the Pharisees and what Jesus said about Pharisees and Sadducees. That will stand and be praying and shouting. So everybody will see that we are praying and, and shouting. That is not to God. Your service to God is not the one you do publicly and you display to everybody that mm. you are in church morning tonight. Your service mm. to God is between your relationship, personal, 
you and God. So when the pastors are preaching this message of prioritizing marriage over God, they, don't, they should put context to it because people will now start thinking it is by showing up in church and serving God. My husband and I can watch online church together on our bed after chopping breakfast in bed, not the chopping of food or the chopping of the other room. Yes. And we watch service, we finish worshiping God, and then we continue again in bed. We have license to do. Yes. God knows we are doing primary assignments of procreation ah, of and God enjoyment. You, and there's no care. problem with it. And that is service to God. Oh my God. Because if it's I give myself peace and I give my husband mm. peace, my husband is able to be his best self at work and is representing God ah. well. Mm -hmm. But if I don't give my husband peace, and by peace, I mean service in the other room. Then I'm not able to help him be the best God has designed him to be. We are serving God you in different ways. And excuse me, when you are all shouting, hey, hey, God, God, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Excuse me, that's not service to God. It's mm -hmm. not service to God, it's service to humanity. Yeah, thank you. Love God and I love you. Love you. yourself. Yes, yes, now. Can we move to Islam? About our church today, Brian. Let's go to the Muslim. Uh, no, no, no. Because you need to pray five years in the morning. Let me come to you. How is what this? What if you want to pray? How is your God rubs your back? Do the Muslim. Why can't you see that? Wait, why can't you? Why can't you? Wait. Let me moderate this show. Let me come. Let me ask some ma'am. On your own side. Do, do Muslims prioritize marriage over God? In the sense that where, um, I mean, so is it God over marriage? Where, I don't even know I'm mixing up now. I, I okay. asked her now that same if question. Five, she wants your, to pray your in your situation, how is it? Let me ask you. Okay, that's why I, mean, I don't do a salatu group. I don't go to groups. The way we were raised, my parents prioritize God through our, us, their kids in the mm. home. And I'm doing the same. So I don't have anywhere I'm rushing to. Okay. <laughs> so Friday after weekend, after Friday after service. After Friday, I will serve God through my husband. Ah, because for every way, time I attend to my husband you. in my religion, the way God through your husband. Written, for every time he wants me and I attend to him, I get a reward. Imagine me just oh, enjoying God. my life and getting a reward. Wait, pause that thought. I have to, uh, Dr. Abdullah from Niger State. I'll come back to this oh. matter. Good morning, Dr. Abdullah. Uh, good morning, Morayo. Morayo, go ahead, please. Yeah. Uh, the topic is very interesting, and I must align myself with uh, that uh, barrister there, that Adia Yomish. Just by the fact that she is a Muslim, I think the primary aim of marriage is to fulfill the obligation of God. Mm -hmm. I see that in a woman through procreation. If a woman becomes a career person and also gets in uh, God's designing role as a wife at home, it means something else is happening, and they may be fired the monkey. Mm -hmm. If I'm in position of that man, I would divorce that man immediately and make a better choice. Ah, but you can buy another wife now. Yeah, of course, I would divorce and get another one. That's what it means because more ready for responsibility. Child of bringing a domestic responsibility, divining, made by God for the woman to carry out as a role. And issue of procreation through sexual reproduction is a responsibility that she cannot determine. Except when the man is. So if she's not respecting this value, value system of her cultural heritage, she's not free to be a pride woman like all of you are there. Why can't Brown, you Brown, leave a TV, leave your television station and don't satisfy your husband or your children? Say you are doing a career in activity and show that you can survive it. They are bad examples of women. I who are not really, who are not really teaching the younger generations of what our value system are. Right. And uh, I will say it clearly that nobody should pity that woman. The man too should be very decisive in taking actions against her. Thank you very much, Dr. Dula. Let's go on a quick break. When we come back, we continue this conversation. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Pearl and Beauty deodorant with natural pearl extracts and avocado oils for soft, smooth, and beautiful underarms. The perfect balance of 48 hour protection and care with delicate fragrances. Feel the power of pearls. Nivea Pearl and Beauty for soft, smooth, and beautiful underarms. Try our new Pearl and Beauty Black Pearl for smooth and perfumed underarms. Take it from me, the mind-blowing way to do things is the Glow LTE advanced way. When you stream, it's like you in the drama itself. <laughs> when you make calls, you reach where others can. Cookie! 
Doing business is like running Wall Street from your street. Hmm. So, have you ever wondered what happens behind the curtains of a man's mind? Or perhaps you're one of those who wonder what men talk about when they gather. Well, here goes. Imagine what it takes to put together the perfect cocktail. Or maybe mocktail. We need a bit of sports, a sprinkling of current affairs, some very deep topical issues and last but not the least a healthy dose of grumbling of those we love to hate and yes you guessed it women so if you catch the drift then you're on to something we will provide you with the right Thanks for staying with us. We're still discussing uh, this matter with it and we're talking taking things from the Islamic perspective and Nima was going to give us an example yes, yes. So she, a woman can have a career if she has that conversation with her husband but she cannot then force the husband not to meet his sexual needs which yes. is why Islam allows a woman is entitled to her own earnings that's what Islam says but the husband is entitled to four wives yes. open your mind is this something you can handle me I'm just being in a do get doing everything and thinking <laughs> I can test it but some men will find a way around it I know someone who did well in her career, she got appointed by government, she's presently in an international institution outside the country, but she agreed with her husband, there are two other women at home, her kids are well cared for, the other women have their own kids, this somebody must give. So, you know? that's interesting, because in this woman's scenario, because that's, that's on the issue with the Christianity and Islam, Islam gives you so many options on what mm -hmm. to do. If, was, if, if, if for the Christian woman, you know that you're forcing your career, you'd have cuckoo mom married another woman for your husband. Could you just help me sort out the home matters, raise my kids. You have another nurturer at home who is sorting out uh, sexual activity and uh, other room matters for you. Why you are becoming HR in, in, in the bank and you, are still, you still have a family. So that's where Islam is different from Christianity, where they give you that option to accommodate your ambition and also to nurture your children. But many Christians' homes will never accept that. I know if your yeah. is not, it's, it's, not, it's, not it's not within our um, the Scope brief, <laughs> the, the brief that Christianity gave us, the modern Christianity gave us. We all know that in the Bible, people had multiple wives from even New the and Old Testament. Testament. Even in the New Testament, just pastors that were excluded from having um, pastors and leaders in church were excluded from having multiple wives. But People still do it. I, there are people in Anglican churches, Catholic churches, that they have multiple, they have more than one, and it's accepted. They would come to church, Baptists, they will come to church with their first wife and second wife, and they ask, accept them in the church as long as it is not causing rifts within your life. Oh. But, it, but as modern Christians, we have now created the system of one man, one wife. But it would involve sacrifice, and part of sacrifice would mean that I might need to um, sacrifice my job. And men make sacrifices that we don't acknowledge enough for. Many men live their entire life for their family, their yes. finances, prioritizes. Yes. Before they would think of removing clothes, bill, or shoe, or anything for themselves, yes. they pay rent, pay school fees, um, cover housing bills, take care of all the family members before they would say, okay, now I have something to dress nice and all of that. And that happens on a daily basis. That's the way men are wired to think. We don't see it because we see it as a financial sacrifice. Mm -hmm. we, don't, we, we don't prioritize so it because women, it's not so, Nima, so, as so, their so, duty, so, so we don't appreciate so it. So if, if women in this lady's situation mm. choose not to be selfish, but choose the, the welfare 
of their children above their personal preferences. Mm. So because I want my child to be raised in a proper home, should I therefore be willing to allow my husband to have a second wife or to have a side chick? Because I want, I, want, I want my kids to be there. So should we begin to start having this conversation? I have a career because we go to conferences all the time to tell you that you must achieve, you must continue to push for so your you career. You don't want a woman. You don't want a woman to wear. You want to work out to the conference by yourself. I don't understand. You, you will take what you want and what you don't want from it. You work out to the conference and somebody is telling you what you should do. Don't you no, know we have what to. you want? The reason or why, what you why, do, the reason why they tell right? us that because there are lots of men who have abandoned women who did not build their careers mm. and then they abandoned them with children. Yes. So they will tell you, you better have your own. Not just your husband, enough the to, the to maintain the lifestyle of, my, of your children. So that's where the risk of the side chick is. If you say you want to allow him, that distraction, which I consider a distraction, it might be the worst we'll decision because eventually you will not even have time for your kids anymore. Mm. And imagine the side chick that has kids. Even in this our polygamy that we are talking about, a small wife comes in, has her own kids and starts to cry every day. You don't have time for me, you don't have time for me. Eventually, we'll be like, well, this one, their mother who don't have time for them. She, she's a headache. Then you are at, your kids will be at too messy at that time. So this decision, you, when you're a mother, you have to think, as YK said, from that, those shoes. That child was minding the business of, uh, with God. You say you want child. They come, bless you, finish. You say you are too busy for the child. You have to be clear whether you want to be a mother or you want, to, you want a companion. So that you just marry your husband and be companion. When he wants kids, he can focus on kids. That, that's what I like go. They decide not to have children. They yeah. will marry you. Mm -hmm. They won't have children. Mm -hmm. Everybody will be doing career, career. And when they finish their career, they come and meet themselves in the house mm -hmm. in the night. Mm -hmm. Do their business. Tomorrow, career, career, career. See, old age. There, there are some that don't even so want kids. Let me take a call. Okay. Um, the, Mr. Ayo from Aguda, thanks for calling. Give you messages. Hello, good morning. Mm. Good morning, morning sir. Live. Good morning, Morayo. Good, good morning, morning ladies in the house. Good morning. Yes, please, uh, concerning your discussions, it's an interesting one. You see, I experienced such because my wife worked with the banking industry for 10 years. Mm. And while it was, she was in the bank, I, was, I have a business of my own. So I'll be the one to take care of the kids. As early as 5.30, sometimes 6, she's out of the house. So I was the one that would take care of the kids, take them to school, take the small one to crutch, drop the other two at their schools. Even in their school, they don't know their mother. Mm. I was the only one they knew. I would go for their food. So for over, over 10 years, I was doing that. But then it was a matter of we, we come, come together and discuss. Our own job was more paying than my own business. You understand? So we come to a conclusion. Even in the other room, she will, she will have come back home tired. I will understand that. Well, it's the nature of her job. You understand me? So we're able to come to an agreement that, okay, since you are busy, no problem. I'll do my own business. You do your own work. I will stand in. But the issue of the church, you, she talked about, church is not an issue. Then she doesn't go to church. She only goes to church when she has done everything. She needs to do at home, put things in order that you can go to church. I go to church myself, I'm a pastor. So that issue of the church, with most things ladies do in church, is after the main service, you see ladies sitting around talking and talking, drinking, and say they are doing one thing or the other. That one is not an issue at all. So I think it's a matter of sacrifice on both, on the part of both couples, the husband and the wife. So yeah. when you come together and come to an agreement, then issues like this, is something you can do. So uh, to me, to my own point of view, I think it's the lady that felt the career is more important than his family. Definitely, that's why I have to sacrifice his family for his career. Thank you very okay. much. Let me take a few comments on social media. Thank you very much, Mr. Ayo. Um, a former Eleni Toba Johnson said, Good morning, Murayo. When you are big, you are big. And whatever your hands find to do, you will flourish. But priorities change per time. You can have it all, but not at the same time. She will not remain HR for always. And what she will come back to is when she's out of what, what will she come back to when she's out of that role? Mm -hmm. Another story here for Mr. Tijani, Doctor. Actually, one second, please. <laughs> um, Doctor uh, Engineer Ajibola Tijani, PhD. Mm -hmm. Says a very good morning to you and the ladies. Honestly, there can never be a balance in marriage. By default, women determine what and how the home will be, and that is by their making. Even when the woman of the house is sick, she still finds strength to care for the family. A wise woman will balance her work life with her marital life. It is so skewed that it's, it's practically impossible for men to make such a balance because of their nature and responsibility to provide 
as the head of the family. Had that lady put her trust in God with little compromise, there might have been a better way to learn. I don't know. Yeah, I Please, I wanted to talk about the scale of preference. When it comes to life, every time you make a decision, you would have a scale of what are the things I really, really like, and then I would do opportunity cost, and some things will go. And when we talk, so, sometimes for a family to work, because we are both busy, we have a weekend out. So in a month, two weekends, Oga and Daddy, are able, I mean, Daddy and Mommy have this time out because we know that we need time to connect with one another. For some, it is one weekend. This weekend, after work on Friday, we are driving to this hotel, and it is just a time for husband and wife to remember what it's like to be husband and wife. Um, Nima said that her auntie advised her to have lunch once in a while. I used to schedule, after your view, I would drive no food and go and eat Amala. For me, it is food lunch. Mm -hmm. It is opportunity to just be lunch. eating, and they know us at Olaya. So you they know us at yes, yeah. They know us at Olaya. Wait, because we pause, pause, pause. <laughs> Let's take it one by one. Hey, wait, hey, hey. Auntie, like ah, wait, wait. <laughs> you go to your husband. You do it to your husband's office. No, no. They wait. arrange wait, for lunch. Wait, let the girl talk now. Why do you want to say Nima, that? Nima, wait. Let me help me understand. We want to get the picture right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you leave your house. You drive to your house. To your house. To your husband's office. And then they you, go somewhere else. You go somewhere. Lunch time. Now we'll give you lunch. lunch. Time. You take him where do you take him for lunch? To the hotel. Really? Why isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? <laughs> so you carry your husband to hotel. So we don't know what they say about this people. These Javite people. Ah, they are the most of them. Not them. You know how to marry. You just carry. <laughs> you know how to marry. What's up, chats? That's the third day I'm eating Amala with my husband. We will eat while we are eating. We will just what happened yesterday, what happened the first day. We are talking all through because it is extremely important that you remain friends. It's extremely important that you, are, you know each other. People have become roommates in marriage. You are not really yeah. married, you're just roommates. We come together. Just friends, the children are sister. going to this place. The children are going to that place. The only conversation you have with your husband is about the children or bills. That's not what marriage should be Let about. Let me take this call from Honor. Oh, it's calling from VI. Thanks for calling your live. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Um, thank you. I'm so glad I've actually gotten you for the first time. Hey. Glad to have you too. Welcome. Okay. So, um, concerning the topic for today, my contribution is this. People will give advice based on their own experience, their own background, their own, for their own convenience, you know. Yeah. I'll say the mother probably has had an experience or... Is trying to um, is trying to protect her daughter from unfortunate incidences in future. Yes. You know that is why she gave that advice yes. to her daughter. Yes. The pastor, if you look at this, this man seems to be active in church. If we're supposed to have sat down together mm -hmm. and thought of a way around the problem. Saturday, why does she have to be in the market all through Saturday? She could very well, it's on her way back from home, she, she picks things, she buys things, you know, from market street traders, low street markets, you know, and gets home. Or if she's a bulk buyer, people have arrangements in offices where they get somebody to go to. When I was working, there was this lady, a cleaner. She'll go and buy in bulk for everybody and bring to the office. We share. There are always ways around. But yeah. at that thing of Sunday, that is one thing I absolutely... Ask. In fact, we are no longer serving God because what God has said is that we should, we should keep the Sabbath day holy by resting. So why will anybody be in church from morning till mm, night? From meeting to meetings. Ah. Okay, it's thanks. For, let, let, let me go on a break. You see, we're going to go on a break now. When we come back... We're going to address two things. The banks, the churches, mm. and religion. Yeah. No, shopping, no, shopping, okay, shopping, we can add that because this, this is our church thing. is a yes. serious matter. Yes. Ah. Stay with us right back. I, I have a friend. She... Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. God Dayin Kata First is back with Love Matas, Lagos again. Doubt and fear doesn't occur at the canvas, it shows in the canvas. It shows the conation of raw earthen material slapped, stroked and molded at a pace provided by the doubt and fear. Every move way in the struggle of one to the other, merging the past to the present, brush strokes of colors seen but not known, for when the wailing stops, the pieces settle down in abject beauty erected for a century of a century. Speaking advocating, protesting, as the arts are meant to be.
means of employment. to stay with us. We're still discussing this matter. Let me take a few comments on social media. I have a message from Mrs. Taiwo Koliadi. She said, based on your discussion on TVC today, the Bible says that he that is unmarried careth for the things of God, how she may please God. But she that is married careth for how she may please her husband. Balance, balance in all things is important. Yeah, Our own lady. pastor, that's, she's talking about her pastor, now, used to say to us, that is your husband is above me in God's hierarchy, so obey him. Wisdom. Let me tell you this from, from, from a Twitter. It says, why is it always bank? Bank management in Nigeria should critically look into this. Mm. Is it what is obtainable in other clients? They should help us build a stronger family, ultimately better society. The reason why this is interesting is because we talked about the perks banks give. You know, bank, for an HR, head HR in a bank, the kind of car you be driving, the driver, you have a driver, you probably have a PA, you probably have a, a, a plethora of men of your, of your of staff. Well, uh, well, the admin is reporting to you, logistics is reporting to you, procurement is reporting to you. You have this whole people who are depending on you. So, and you get these perks of traveling abroad. This, it is a lot to sacrifice. When, as, a, as a woman, you now you have to weigh that with your family, your baby kids who don't even know if it is you that is feeding them or the daddy that is feeding them, you know. So, you're, a woman always feels like, listen, I was, my kids are always there. I will still come to you. Your kids are not always, always there. there. They are not. They're not always there. They grow. They grow, they grow. fast. That's, you, are, you are just the vehicle that produced that child. Really? You are the vehicle. And it is how you treat that vehicle that will be your own future in future. Mm. If you treat that... Uh, Abandon it. <laughs> mm. It is what you reap, you sow. Mm. So you, mu mm. you must think of it. Because I, I don't... Um, a, a child is not a chattel. A child mm. is a human being that is going to grow up. Mm. And see, girl, you have years <laughs> after they have grown to face to that your career life. and mm. do the career and, uh -uh, mm. and excel. People would have gone no, now. Your so I, I believe that. I believe mm. that is not the banks. You know, you asked about the banks and you said you were going to go to church. Before we leave banks, the truth is, it is not banks that are the problem. It is the... Because the society we find ourselves, Lagos, a banker in Port Harcourt, a no, banker no, in Bili, uh, a banker uh, in, 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 in Ibadan mm. is different from a banker in Lagos. Mm -hmm. A banker in Ibadan can afford to live there yeah, like 7.30 in Abuja. You can leave your house 7.30. You can do school runs and then go yes. to work. It is yes. in Lagos that when you're a banker, you're driving hours. Oh, and if you want to live close to your office, it might cost you a whole lot of money to live that close to your office as mm. much as you want to. So... It is, it's, it's peculiar to be able to find it on ourselves. Mm. So my husband was in one department where he even worked weekends. Of mm -hmm. course, I was going to the hotel. Yeah. Steadily. Ah, well, me, I don't and, know. And, 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 steadily. Ima, no. shot. I will do Gary. mother for you children. You need to give value to your yeah, yeah, yeah. sister to stay with We are learning, we are learning. Don't worry. Let me take this call from Yakub. I come to you, Yakub. Right Yakub, thanks for calling. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Uh, I think uh, this very particular topic is a uh, unique one because uh, I have uh, experience expressing in such a way <laughs> that I have a friend. I don't know if you are listening to me. I don't know. We can hear you. Yeah, Go ahead, Jacob. We can I hear you. A, I, I have a friend, and then uh, his wife is a banker. Uh, my as I'm talking to you now, they are going separate. They are separate. Why? Why? Because. Uh, this this is why, as you rightly said earlier, Lagos banker is very very difficult. The woman must live as early as five, at least five five past, and then you know the woman will not respond on the sometimes nine thirty ten. So this my friend starts complaining to me that I already come. What do I do to this woman? Even when she come back, the other room. He called this, call this woman to the other, he'll be telling him that 
is this very tired, is this is complaint. And then what really happened at the end of the day? The woman asked me that some certain, some certain things that she cannot confer, and then she brought one of his cousins to the house. Mario, at the end of the day, what Something happened? happened. The, the, lady, the, the, the lady they brought in got pregnant, mm. and then their house got hey. So, the woman comes to me, beginning to complain, they see your friend, this, I say, so you are the cop. You have to choose either your work or your family. Mm. If, you, if you know the job is not giving you time to, to cater for your mm. husband, in fact, your husband has already complained to me one time ago that the other rooms are not there as well. Is it true, all right? Mm. He said, hey, I'm always tired. I said, I'm going to go and sit down. You get it? So, it is very, very difficult. So, God, I'm looking for it. Thank you very, much, Thank you very much, Jacob. Some will argue that some women too are getting some at work. Hmm. Because you think it's only you that you're sitting there waiting wait for her to come back. She has been sorted in the office by one PA, one devil. somebody that is always sorting out. There's office devil. Mm. There's office devil where the woman has to work closely with another man. Yes. Devil happened. Yes, mm. I know they'll just branch to hotel yeah. like you. Yeah, no, I, me, I don't give How that branch with her husband. Yeah. I know. Her husband, though, I, I don't know. give so. I know, yeah. they say they'll branch hotel for lunch smart. break. Don't worry. But as well, since, since my people are doing don't branching, worry. No, so, we so, do. No, but we know these things. We yes. know they do. What we know they sometimes, is they sometimes to this even thing. do it in the office. Commit to it. Yeah. So if, you're, if you know that this is a risk, just as Yakub said, I cannot even risk that thing that, uh, uh, that happened to that woman. I can't risk it. I know what I can take, what I cannot take. So I'm guiding. If it now happens, it will not be because I failed. It will be mm. because I have done my best, but this thing was beyond me. Mm. You know, that's a different matter. We must always face this because life can happen. But at least... Wash your hands clean and make sure that I had no, 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 they cannot come and say you. Let's say give you comments on social media for a wrap up. Okay, any, any comments there? On Twitter. Okay, go ahead. And Ademola, Honorable Ademola Alala, this says there's no crime in a woman pursuing her career, but there's a problem when the woman neglects her primary role as a wife and mother. There must be a balance. I must always communicate with her husband to seek for his support when it is needed. That's the way to go. Um, Ogumola Emmanuel says, Salah Janaido. <laughs> Chakusworth <laughs> says, can I just correct yeah. on the point that monogamy is in modern Christianity? At least, Jesus didn't think so when he said one man, one woman on the topic. I, okay, on the topic, I think uh, compromise is key. There should be effort on both sides. If you decide to marry, then you must do the needful. Let me take a light off of Abuja. Um, okay. A light off of Abuja, thanks for calling. Let's go to quote scripture. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Beautiful lady in the house. Good morning. Just like Auntie Yeni stated now, that when we are young, at this level that we are all now, are you hearing me? Yes. Time, then you are free to face your, or your career. Rather than abandon the home and nobody is taking care of the, of the children for you. Just like Auntie Yeni said now, that at this moment, your attention should be focused on the children in order to attain that that you want them to attend. Thank you very much. Your husband is providing you with everything that you need. Then you don't really need any other woman being outside. Mm. Thank you very much, Alaito. Thank, Thank you. Alaito has brought us to the industry issue now. You know you were talking about bank earlier, mm. banks earlier, and Tokwe said it wasn't necessary. The banks, would they give a woman who has given 15 years to marriage and raising kids the opportunity to join the bank without a game? When they age, they will say, uh, we are looking for below age, Young, this yes. and that, and that was, Certain years of experience. But what, this woman knows that she's done with this. She would have given you a full commitment to her career and be able to do well in the bank. But then they she have this, the job. this uh, HR criteria that is it's not balanced. For so we need to really talk industry. about it. I have a friend, I was telling you earlier that I have a friend that had her child very late in life. Mm. And the bank takes all hours. She can leave the bank 10, 11 at night. Mm. And I'm serious that she, that, that bank... Working. Kills her with work. What the parks are fantastic. She has beautiful car, goes on holiday, but her child is just one. Ma, she left the job mm. for that child because go, go she's realizing child that, 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 to burn. Mm. that child, she's not all those moments. She's mm -hmm. another person that will yes. enjoy those moments yes. of that child. Yes. Yes. 
not her. And she wants to enjoy the moment yeah. of her child, the first walk, the first smile, the first yeah. this. Ah, so uh, you get that you employ that we not enjoying that. Nani. We not even understand. But, but, but I like button. And it's very. She 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 made. I, I feel she made the right call. Mm. I think Nima's point is very very is very very easy to gloss over. The fact that uh, it's not even just banks. Generally, employment. We're mm -hmm. not considering the fact that somebody has taken a step back. If your CV shows that you last worked 10 years ago, the question is, what have you done in the past 10, past years? 10 years? If you say and kids... And the person says, oh, I was raising my children. They're like, say no. how can you just be raising yeah. your children? What else did you now yeah. do? But raising your children is a whole lot of work. However, we should empower women that when you're raising your children, there are online courses you can take. You're living in 21st century. So that your CV does not show a blank yeah, gap but it doesn't show for that time. You could also, people do certifications. You say, I do certification in this one, or yes. I volunteered in this church, yeah. so, or I was the PTA person. But your CV cannot be blank for 10 years because Stop you were raising How many children? of these that you mentioned uh, do balance value? So you yeah. said you were involved PTA. in PTA. Mm. You were taking certifications at home. Yeah. And banks are asking work experience. They are asking you, uh, are you below certain age? Is for you know what, as, yeah. as a graduate. I know that's a problem. So we must restructure these HR qualities, these yeah. uh, factors. I that agree. We but can I just I mean, tell you something? Yeah, I have a caller. Oh, yeah, Good morning. Caller. Thanks for calling. You're live. Hello. Hello. Yes, I can go ahead, please. You're live. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you, Mora. I'm the first time caller. Welcome to the show. Yeah. I'm a regular uh, viewer of your program. And Thank you. I must be honest with you. I'm very proud of you guys. Thank so, you, Aki. I want you to extend this program to uh -uh. Uh, the Maybe. campuses. We want to extend us again. <laughs> so we should not go and take our husband at home. Come on, give us food. Yeah. has an appointment at the hotel. <laughs> with our <laughs> husband. Give us food sponsorship. With our husband. Aki, go ahead, please. Okay, so you see, my own contribution to this topic is that the man and the woman, the husband and the wife, they need to be worthy. She just suffered. We just suffered now. 4 a.m., 5 a.m., she has woke up, uh, taking care of baby, uh, running down to the bank. I will start calling them, where are you now? Are you there? Are you not there? You know? So I put it and I sit down down. I said, come, can, you do, can we do something? Let me do the husband. Can you stay back and do a business that can give you time? to manage yourself, manage the house, and manage me. Initially, the family said, I know, it's evil spirit, oh, something has possessed me, oh, this and this and that, so, that you should not agree. I said, okay, let me bust your brain. I went, I got a loan, I got a shop, I bought provisions into the shop, brought the things that I know that I can move. And she agreed, and that is how we were able to raise the four wow. kids that we have. So this is on the family between nice. the husband and the wife. Even when the job took me outside Lagos, to the Jaws, to Ibadan, and they remain in Lagos. And today we are fine. The first one that graduated, she's out of the place. The second one is in the rest. Yeah. So I think Thank that you that very much, Mr. King. Yeah, you see, advising people to leave their jobs for home but marriage seems quite dangerous. Men can be very unreliable, no matter the situation you find yourself. You must continue to communicate with your spouse, engagement, find a stop-gap approach, probable solutions that can work best for you. And I think that's a way to wrap up this Wait, conversation. Think, before, you, before you wrap up the conversation, I want to say, to say something. Uh, COVID was a bad time. But there were some blessings in COVID. Mm. And that ah. is one of the things bonding. is that... It was bonding. Work it was the best time from home. Online. Yes. Work from home. Yes. My daughter was about to leave her job when COVID came. And she now found out she could work from home and still be there for her children. Mm -hmm. So now she works from home. So there are banks that will take you... To work from home, yeah. online, maybe going two or three times a week. My daughter passed up a promotion because she said she's not going to go into the office. She will work from home mm. because of her children. That was the compromises and conversations yes. we must have. Talking about Both our employers and our family. That we're talking about. There was a time I don't advise work any from home. woman to leave her job because of her husband. But I, I, I would advise make it work. You can. If you Sacrifice look at it well, church. you can make it work. You give it, just as you know, pass, out, pass off a promotion for a time being, then you recover it later. Do some, you can make it happen, but don't take away your yeah. empowerment. Yeah. You, um, you can get someone to shop for you. You know, yes. she said that on Saturdays she was spending Saturdays shopping. shopping. Have someone shop for you. Have someone cook for you. You don't necessarily have to cook. Cooking doesn't make you a good, good wife. wife. Ensure there is food at home. That makes you a good wife. 
Sundays, you can pass up three Sundays in a month and mm -hmm. say, oh, I'm serving in church on one Sunday. Three yes. Sundays, I am with my husband. Mm -hmm. Sunday is our day. Oga and Madam are together. Phones aside, we are bonding. Mm -hmm. If you can make those little sacrifices, you can still have your career mm -hmm. and still be able to have a good marriage and mm -hmm. still have a good relationship with God. Mm -hmm. You don't need to sacrifice everything. Just finding a balance is important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I checked that story earlier because one of the light bulb moments I had is when we were having meetings in church and and I realized that everybody around me was mommy this, mommy that, mommy this. They are, more, they are, they are children and older. So sometimes you realize that you, the phase you are in in your life is such that you need time for your family. Mm. And you must be able to separate your roles. So there will be times where you'll be pressured by our religious leaders to do more work. Because they'll make you feel like if you don't do more, but that you are giving more time to your career mm. than to God. They'll tell you, so if I wake up early, 5 a.m. to go to work, we are asking you to go to church at 7 o'clock and not showing up. When a guy likes money in action. So there are different, different things you have to consider, you know, before you study. So don't say because they're saying get to church at 7 o'clock and you two have to carry your bag and leave your husband and your children and go and do such church service and stay there till 5 p.m. You Pastor have to balance, wife. balance things properly. Yeah, some of them are coming and they have done if we want to take a cue from our Muslims, mm -hmm. saying that if you know you want to pursue your career and it's so important to you, as a Muslim suggestion here, where you have a conversation with your husband, and where he understands it from the beginning that I am a career person, this is my path. Once he agrees, you then cannot add one. See this. <laughs> and then you can also do something. You can take leave when a guy is on leave. Mm -hmm. You can share two meetings. Hey, you can but you see, at least it's sacrifice. Mm. You know, you have shoes. You have ah. And those of you that your husbands are working in the bank and you want to be a committed wife, please take a take, suggestion from our larger. Yeah. Mm. During lunch take break. lunch break. Don't take hotel for one hour. Just hang out it's with not one hour. No, she will hour. relax. They will come back because you know they are waiting for traffic. I, Bankers wait oh, on the island for traffic. Over, yes. Oh, yes. So over. quickly come, come and chop lunch. How long There's come somebody there. at home. Uh, my sisters are visiting. Uh -huh. Oh, interesting idea. Very Perfect, interesting. Perfectly <laughs> arranged. You don't need to ah. sacrifice. Just plan yourself. Just planning. Well. Ah, <laughs> I like that. Why can't any other suggestions for you? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Why can't good schedule? <laughs> hey, whatever schedule says. <laughs> all right, that's all we can take on today's show. I think that's a way to wrap up. Um, that I, in a nutshell, conversations are important in marriage. Compromise, you lose some, you win some, and you also have to compromise and discuss with your family to make the right decisions. That's all we can take on today's show. Hope we have uh, learned a few things as we have. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.